Welcome to our discussion on economic evaluation of environmental goods and services once again. In our last session, we completed our discussion on choice experiment. That means by now, we have completed our discussion on economic valuation in the category of stated preference approach. That means both reveal uh, choice experiment and contingent valuation method, they are part of stated preference approach, wherein we ask the respondent to state their preference for environment. That is why this is called stated preference approach. Today, we are going to discuss about the other approach or other methods for environmental valuation which is revealed preference approach so this is revealed preference approach that we are going to discuss today revealed preference approach revealed preference approach Under this reveal preference approach, there are basically two methods. One is hedonic pricing. Hedonic pricing. And the second one is travel cost method. or in sort TCM. Now in reveal preference approach, what we do, we try to estimate individual's preference for environment through related product. That means preference for environment preference for environment or environmental goods and services are estimated through a related market. So that means unlike stated preference approach wherein we ask the respondents to state their preference in this revealed preference approach preference for environment is already revealed. So preference for environment for environment is already revealed and how it is revealed through related market right now today we will first talk about hedonic pricing and then we'll talk about travel cost method right so in hedonic pricing Also, as I said, preference for environment is already revealed through related market. As an example, we can take the housing price or housing market. This is an example. An example of hedonic pricing can be understood by taking housing market example. Housing market. right like the choice experiment this hedonic pricing is also based on characteristics theory of value what is the basis 
The basis for hedonic pricing also is characteristic theory of value. Characteristics theory of value. That means value for a good or product is basically the summation of the values of its different attributes. Now, when we talk about if we assume a house as a product, then the price of a house, if we denote PI, let's say. PI is the price of a house. Price of a house. Then this PI is actually a function of several factors. Some of the factors are called site specific. That means purely on the house specific or apartment specific. Some factors are called neighborhood factors, locational factors and some factors are environmental so that means i can say pi is basically a function of site specific factors si then neighborhood specific factor in i and environmental factor ei now i will give example of all these three types of factors for example this si site specific factor could be the size of the house size of a house then how many bedrooms it has 2 bhk or 3 bhk like that okay then uh, what is the whether the house has a garage or not what is the size of a garden it has if at all any garden is there so on and so forth you can think of n number of factors whether it is a south facing or north facing east facing or west facing so these are purely site specific or apartment specific factors then something called neighborhood specific factors that means how far is the house so that means these are called locational factors so distance from distance from uh working place never existence of any hospital existence of bank or a team existence of any school Okay, those who are going to buy, they will also see in the neighborhood of that house if there is any school for their kids to study. So, these are called neighborhood specific factors. So, NI is called neighborhood specific factors. Then, there are environmental factors also which will determine the housing price, right? What are those environmental factors? Maybe noise in that locality air quality in that locality okay air quality then uh, greenery green area so and and so forth these are called environmental factors that will also determine the housing price now if we estimate if we estimate this price function that means housing price by a simple regression analysis then what we can say we can specify 
this type of function. Let's say I am specifying the equation in logarithmic term. So log of pi equals to alpha plus beta 1 is i 1 plus beta 2 is i 2. Likewise, let us say you have m number of site specific factors. So, this will become beta m is i m. Then plus beta, let us say this is let's say this is instead of beta okay let's say this is beta uh, in in i1 plus beta in plus 1 in i2 plus let's say you have you have a key number of such neighborhood specific factors so this will become beta k in i k plus beta let's say uh, beta q beta q e i 1 plus beta q plus 1 e i 2 plus plus beta let us say you have uh, you have you have uh, R number of environmental factors. Okay. Right. So, this is your specification of the equation, then U i. So, housing price, so price of the ith house is determined by m number of site specific factors then we have k number of k number of neighborhood specific factors and r small r number of environmental factors that determine the environment the housing price right for simplicity's sake we can we can take this equation in both side logarithm so that will help so that means we can say that these are all logarithm so i will write the equation once again so this will become log of pi equals to some alpha plus beta 1 log of is i 1 plus beta 2 is i 2 plus sorry this is again log beta m log of s i m plus beta n log of n i 1 plus beta n plus 1 log of n i 2 plus beta k log of in i k plus beta q e i sorry this is again log e i 1 plus beta q plus 1 log of e i 2 plus beta r log of e i r plus u i okay 
Now, this particular equation will tell us, for example, let us say this EI1, let us say EI1 is, let us say this is air quality. Okay, EI1 is the air quality. So, that means this beta Q, what does then beta Q indicate? For 1% change in air quality, what is the percentage change in the housing price, keeping other factors constant. So, that means if the individual, if the individual pays little higher amount for the same house, for the same house, that means if the housing price in a better air quality environment area is a higher than the similar house in a lower environmental quality air quality area, that means we can say that individuals they are ready to pay some extra premium for this air quality. So, that means the additional price in the house in the additional price for this house is purely due to better environment. This is how preference for environment can be estimated through the housing market. Okay, through the housing price. Similarly, beta Q plus 1 will indicate for a percentage change, 1 percent change in EI2, let us say that is greenery, what is the percentage change in the housing price. So, I will say that beta Q is for 1 percent, for 1 percent change in air quality. housing price housing price changes by beta q percent keeping other factors same 